He just keeps pacing back and forth and making phone calls. <laughs> Uh, a woman just called them cowards. I guess it's true then. A bunch of cowards. So these guys are sitting on our money. Let's see if he rolls it up. down the other one though. Where are they at? He's a mercenary for hire. These guys are killers. I mean, these guys look like killers. To me. There's no security really at this facility that I can see. I don't see any video cameras. Maybe one way back there on the warehouse. Let's see. Yeah, possibly some way back there. Closer to. That's a different unit. This is the unit in the front here. back there. Good job. An incident of brutal beating of a prisoner by prison guards triggered an act of prisoner unity and resistance of a prisoner. 
oppressed prisoners rising up in armed resistance against the carceral state that will forever live in the annals of the U.S. Constitution. History leading an ugly stain on the American soul and power. Under the guise of being self-sufficient, Texas prison officials created an industry called the Texas Corrections Industry, or TCI, which is where we are right now, in 1963, where free prison labor is utilized to make all types of products, from hand soap, bed sheets, raising livestock, to making iron toilets and portable buildings, all for sale. Free prisoner labor also maintains the water recycling and purification system for all Texas prison units. TCI is a publicly traded stock on the New York Stock Exchange, making Texas, the Texas prison system the only prison system you can buy stock in. Throughout Texas's 120 prisons, TCI operates numerous furniture factories that make all sorts of residential and commercial and office fixtures. A couple of people toured this facility a few months ago, and the folks in the office boasted that everything in their office was made from prison labor. Is that fucking sick or what? That is fucking sick! The garment and textile factories that are also operated by TCI prison labor make all types of clothing attire. Shirts, socks, jackets, and uniforms all of which can be found in this showroom. As well as bedding materials that are sold on the open market, there are slaughterhouses, meat packing plants, and where all the livestock that are raised on the grounds of Texas prisons are taken to be slaughtered, prepared, and packaged for selling to the open market. We're making phone calls. While prisoners are being fed with leftovers mixed with soybeans. All these factories and plants are operated on the backs of prisoners who are not paid. Why would you downsize a thriving and lucrative cash-laden business? This is from a Texas inmate. I haven't mentioned the other entities of TCI, like outsourcing prisoners' labor to other open market companies, which I'm sure produce millions of words on their needs. Many Texans complain about the burden of prisons when they should be asking who is profiting from inmate free labor. Certainly all of those millions of dollars in the pockets of just a few. What about unemployment in Texas? 60% of the 180,000 prisoners work. That's about 100,000 jobs. Texas should be demanding that the state get those jobs to civilians. TCJ and TCI are preventing jobs for people in Texas. It is a theft of labor for marginalized communities who are invented and directly targeted by the prison industrial complex. So we got another unit over here. Let's go take a look at him. Here comes a police officer. Let's see which unit we got here. Unit number 4546. That one sounds familiar. But as you can see, we have these guys. Uh, there's APD right there. 5517's five, right there. Who they got in there? Might be Barbosa. I don't know. We got these guys. Probably armed and dangerous also. I only see one, one dispatch, but like I said, the police, uh, there's a police um, what do you call it? Police station? Substation, but it's a station uh, on Ralph Alpineto Road. It's not even a mile from here, so they can totally like send 20 cars here. You need to get these license plates so people can dock some. There's a license plate. So the protesters are leaving. The spot has been abandoned. They took the space and relinquished the space. It was all peaceful. 
There was verbiage, but the verbiage was all peaceful and resistant in a protest of the government, which is a constitutional right. The security state, however, is still in place. They're working on overtime. They got APD down here, which has mandatory overtime by the chief right now, citywide after the Dallas shooting, and uh, the security state's still out here in place. So they're just going to waste money, um, even though this office closed at 3, and nobody's really leaving from the front. It's uh, 316, um, and here they are. They're still here. I'll say goodbye to the ladies. Bye, ladies. Bye. They're not waving. They look like a bunch of terrorist scumbags. But there's a lot of police traffic out here. A whole lot of police traffic. Uh, part of it's there's a substation. Part of it's there is a, a protest against the security state today. Now the security state is in motion, as you can see. They are in motion. They're moving into a shady spot. I don't know what they're doing now. Uh, they need to go home to their kids, their wives, and their girlfriends, and their other girlfriend on top of that. Namaste, y'all. Be safe. Film the police.